please let me know if you can hear me okay. I'm coming at y'all from the gym, and they have overhead music playing, so if you cannot hear me okay, please let me know. Hi, Can Can. Girl, you just now finishing it up. So, can you hear me okay? I'm on this bike. <laughs> I'm on this bike trying to burn some calories. Okay, good. I can't adjust it right though. My little, my little short legs is an issue here. <laughs> But girl, um, did you hear that R. Kelly is trying to clap back? I guess he tried to uh, create a Facebook page and he titled it Surviving the Liars. And I guess he tried to post some text messages from some of the victims. And in some of the text messages, it had like, I guess, explicit information, stuff like them calling him daddy, and, you know, all kind of stuff like that. And girl, Facebook done shut the page down, talking about it violates um, Facebook policies. I was like, okay, go, Mr. Muckleford, whatever his name, Ruckleford, Muckleford, whatever Facebook uh, <laughs> CEO name is. <laughs> because I was like the road like what can you say Kells to make us feel any differently about you at this point like what could he possibly say or do to make us feel differently about him at this point I'm like yes yes he um TMZ had, it was on TMZ and some other websites that he uh, had created that Facebook page. I was like, oh my God, look at this, look at this mess. I can't believe it. And I just finished watching, um, I just finished watching it uh, this morning, like the very last um, series or the very last episode. He is a nasty predator. And I'm like, man, like, okay, I don't have my notes on me or nothing because I'm at the gym, so I'm just uh, going off the top of my head here as far as the uh, Surviving R. Kelly show. But, like, for instance, who was, who met him in the 11th grade, who parents had went to the, that's like a family thing because, Celebrating um, the girl's father's birthday. So it was her mom and dad both with her at the concert. And how he was pulling stage. And then um, that, the girl, where they changed information with the girl. Um, and then they were like, exited out the side um, the side door the VIP door or something like that and how you see like most of these people really have talent yeah they naive a lot of them are naive um, but they most got talent they can dance they can sing you know, and I'm like, this is crazy. This is really, really crazy. Like, what can he say to make us feel any differently? <laughs> this was my episode. Four? Yeah, this was like episode four. Girl, why we got a troll on the live? The troll named R. Kelly is on the live. Do you see it? Yeah, but 
But um, he had took her to uh, a hotel, and her sister um, had came, you know, for her to be with her because her parents, you know, after a lot of protests, they had told her, you know what? It was like she's going to go anyway because she really wants to see if he could, you know, do something for her career and make her famous. So the parents finally gave in and was like, well, you can't go, or you can't go see him unless one of us is with you or her sister and brother. So her sister came, and I'm like, when she got to the hotel, and her uh, little sister told her they can't leave and go get anything to eat without his permission, I'm like, you just got there. You barely even know him, and he already got you on the road, so you cannot leave or you get in trouble. What kind of mess is that? It's like, I don't know, too many of these stories just seem so the same. Like they went through the same stuff. Abuse. I mean, starvation. Keeping them isolated. Locking them in rooms. Making them starve if they disobeyed him. What can he say to make us feel any differently about anything he's done? I can't think of anything. He said, girl, he nuts. And you see he was, what's it say? He was doing it to that people. But one thing is, okay, the one, I wish I had my notes on me. But the one, um, you probably already seen this one where there was the lady and she was like 35 years old and she was a diehard, like diehard fan of his. And she said that she did not believe anything people were saying about him. She was a diehard fan, she was 35. It wasn't like she was one of these young teenagers. Like one of these one young teenagers that, um, you know, too young to consent or anything like that. She was old enough to consent. Should have had a lot of sense at that age, you know, 35. I know in our 30s we still do some weird stuff, some dumb stuff. But 35, and you fell for the trap. You said what Sparkle said, she was um, chilling. Oh man. And Andrea came out of the room asking if she could eat. See, that's too much. That's too much. It couldn't be. Mm -mm. And that one was 35 years old. And you get beat by a man when you talk back. This man who got like 20 other girls in the house to choose from. toothpaste thing. I brushed my teeth on the way out the house. <laughs> Just realized I had a toothpaste thing. But, um, that's just ridiculous. He said, there are people really wrapped up into him. I just can't believe, okay, when, um, what was the lady's name? Was it Michelle? The mother whose name was Michelle? The, the mother that had the daughter who was a tomboy and R. Kelly made her cut off all her hair and start dressing like a boy and he would sometimes make her wear beards and mustaches and you know he turned her into his to boy toy or how the dancers couldn't speak to the band mm -hmm had to come out in a single file like they in grade school lining up for the uh water fountain after a recess <laughs> for real like for real or what about the part when oh my god which part was that uh oh yeah as far as like you know the the um former employee the one that was doing the interview with 
but they didn't want to be seen. So they had them like in the dark. And he was saying stuff like, at first he would be like, them bitches is crazy. What's wrong with these dumb bitches? You know, they this, that, and the third. Like a lot of people like us would say. He was like, that's what I was saying at first. You know, they come in here, he manhandling them, he's abusing them, he's degrading them, he's torturing them, he's starving them. <laughs> I mean, he's making them have, making them do so many uh, humiliating things. They move in, in and outside the bedroom with anybody and everybody, men, women, girls, grown, young. And he said that's how he viewed them, you know, when he first witnessed this. Like, what's wrong with these bitches? He was calling them bitches. Even the young ones, the little girls. And then he was like, but then after that, I really started focusing on not exactly what they were doing, but what he was making them do. And he said, that's when he couldn't figure out what the hell happened to Kales for him to force women and little girls to do such humiliating things. But again, people saw, people watched, and turned their eye. You haven't seen the part about the boy toy? Oh, you have to? That's the last, that's the last one, I believe. That's the last one, I believe. Yep. That's the last part. And I mean, the girl, she was already small boyish when she met him. But she was still like a huge fan. And being that she was tomboyish, he played off of that. And being that he's bisexual, that wasn't no issue for him. That she was a tomboy. He was like, okay, you want to be a tomboy? I'm going to make you a boy. He said, he running around here. I keep slowing down this bike so I can read. And then it beeps at me because I'm going too slow. He said, he's running around here. Million children. Girl! Ooh, I'm gonna be clapping at him. They probably looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> but girl, I'm like, how y'all gonna let some illiterate son of a gun make y'all, I mean, do such degrading things? <laughs> This man can't even read or write. He can't even understand his own contract if somebody probably didn't read it to him. And y'all signing contracts? Yes, girl! Oh my God, so you gotta read the book called, um, I mean, what's the book called? Uh, uh, Forever Daddy's Free. You have to get that book, Forever Daddy's Free. It's about one of his girls. She was 15 or 16. And she uh, kept a diary. And she wrote a book. Yes, he's bisexual. He was having sex with some of his male security guards and employees. And making them have sex with the girls. And the girls have sex. You know, threesomes and all that kind of stuff. Girls, guys, men, women. Yeah, Kells is bisexual. And he would make the girls do strap ones on him. Y'all gotta read that book. Um, uh, I forgot the name already. Um, let me keep pedaling for this bike. Be uh, what's the name of the book? Forever. It's called Forever Daddy's Freak. That's what it's called. Now, it's, it's pretty, it's pretty explicit. Um, pretty graphic. You know, if you can stomach it, 
It's a really good book. Um, I heard about it on Kaya's channel the other day. And actually, the uh, the first um, the first uh, live that I did on the Surviving R. Kelly, I had said the wrong name. I had called it before uh, Daddy's Little Girl, but that was the wrong book, y'all. I did make a disclaimer on that live in the comment section. So it's not Daddy's Little Girl. The name of the book is Forever Daddy's Freak. Or Forever Daddy's Little Freak. Something like that. Um, I don't know the author's name at the top of my head, but if you look it up, just type in Google, type R. Kelly, um, Forever Daddy's Little Freak. It should come right up. But it came right up for me when I looked it up on Google. I was like, what? And Kaya, on her channel, she has spent like, like two to three hours reading like the first um, few chapters of the book. Girl, I was up there listening to Kaya's line. I was like, what? Yeah. Look that up. Y'all read that book. Because I would definitely love to do a review on that book with y'all too. But, mm. If you find it on Google, Candace, and you find the author's name, could you type it in the comments so other people can have it too? But I'm like, okay. I know he's famous. He has a lot of money. He made a lot of hits. Helped a lot of people, you know, in the industry. But he can't read or write. And he making all sorts of contracts and do degrading things that you would never have imagined yourself doing with anybody. A man who, who's walking with no car can't even tell you what to A man who lives in his mama's basement can't tell me what to do. blaming the witness. I mean, the victims. I will never victim shame. I believe he is solely responsible for everything that happened with those young victims. Um, the older victims, the ones on the last part of the series that were like in their 30s, 33, 35, who said they were so starstruck and so in love with him, like his biggest, biggest fans and did not believe any of the stories. Like, he's 35, almost 40 years old, and he didn't believe any of the stories. But that's a lot of people now. A lot of us don't believe the stories still. No matter how can we not believe the stories. I've been believing the stories for years. He said, well, guess he did Considering he was molested by the uncle, I believe said uh, that she was molested up uh, through. Yeah, I think he was. I know um, they said, but I also been the uncle too. Uh, But you know what? When all this stuff is in your face on TV and stuff, is there even a need to say it allegedly? They feel it's pouring out their souls. And that one, what's her name? Is that Kitty? Kitty Jones, who was with DJ, the radio DJ? It's like. She was saying stuff like, they be knowing they shouldn't be there. They be knowing they don't want to be there. They be knowing they should leave. But, like, when she had got to the airport, when she escaped, she was, like, scared to leave at that point. Talking about, should I go? Should I go back? If I go home, people is going to laugh at me and talk about me and ask me what happened. 
ask me all the details is any of that true um you know and i'm sure a lot of them feel that way like if i go back home they gonna know something happened they gonna know i was dumb and i was an idiot and i got caught up like everybody else he said that's what you just found that's it that's it that's it, that's it. Sex Me Confessions of Daddy's Little Freak. Yep, that's it. That's the book. That's the book that y'all need to check out. And I think it's on Kindle. I think it's on Amazon. Um, mm -hmm. That book gives a lot of details on this young girl. Trying to talk and ride a bike. Thirsty. But yeah, it gives a lot of details. Oh, I'm here at the uh, gym with my younger son, too. <laughs> He's like two bikes over. He's talking about pedal. You need to pedal faster. I'm like, I'm trying to pedal, but I'm also talking on YouTube. <laughs> I'm trying not to run out of breath while talking to y'all. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'm going to have to get that book because I want to do a review on it with y'all. And I'm going to see if I can get the, uh, the, um, what do you call the books? Uh, the ones where you can listen to the audio books. Audible. Don't be looking at me. I I'm working out. I'm working out. Chill. I'm a 17 year old son trying to. You just ride your bike. I'm on YouTube. Girl, you should see him shaking his head. <laughs> I'm doing a live. Why are you harassing me? Don't be. Don't be looking at my viewers. He's harassing me. Making sure she working out. You know, we getting no body so you know, 2019. Okay, bye. I already look good. You better start a whole thing. Anyway. That's my chocolate drop. <laughs> be up here. Girl, he was texting me. <laughs> he was texting me, said, "Go really faster. You ain't doing nothing." <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I'm gonna read that book. I'm gonna get it on audio so I can listen to it while I'm working and stuff. But I can believe he had created a Facebook page talking about surviving R. Kelly's liars. If anything, I wish somebody could go inside the home, a full crew, and actually sit down with these women, have lie detector tests, have psychiatrists. I mean, y'all up there saying y'all okay. Like that one girl, um, Jocelyn was saying she was okay and that everything was fine when they tried to interview her. Oh, uh, when, when, uh, was it, uh, TMZ? Yeah, when T TMZ interviewed her, she told them she was fine. No abuse going on. None of the allegations were true, right? But then, when the one that was the tomboy, uh, when her mother came and got her, and mind you that she was staying with Jocelyn in the hotel, um, or Joyce Land, whatever her name is, Joyce Land. But so she broke down, she was crying. She said, I'm so happy. You came and got me, I'm so happy. You came and got me. She was crying, my heart was.
Isso é. Like maybe like 20. Whenever somebody wants to go to the gym, if they want plenty of people in the group, at least be there almost on a or every other day, something like that. But yep, that's from it. We need to get right for the Hardly eating out. I ain't gonna say we could. I work four, five, eleven jobs. But when I do cook dinner, Yesterday, I had cakes ordered, and right after that, I took a tired. I was like, "Take chicken and vegetables, eat it or leave it." <laughs> but, um, yes, but yeah. You need to watch the rest of them episodes. Um, the rest of the series of the R. Kelly, Surviving R. Kelly. Because it gets really deep towards the end. Like, really deep. And I was just in tears. Just crying. Like, I can't believe this. I just... And I said before, on my last live, I'm like... I know when we were younger... A lot of us, a lot of girls, everywhere across the world, you know, a lot of us, when we like 12, 13, 14, we'll be out there thinking we know everything. Like, our shit don't stink, how the older people say. You know, you're still wet behind the ears, but you act like you know everything. And be out there trying to be cute. And you might see older boys in the neighborhood, or because you don't want to seem like the little kid, you know what I mean? But stuff like that, I mean, it's not hard to persuade, persuade little girls to feel that way. Who already are um, anxious to be older, um, to hang out with the older crew. Can't wait to be grown. Can't wait to have boyfriends. Can't wait to get from under mom and dad's thumb. So it's not that hard for somebody of that caliber, of that status, that fame, to um, cause them to latch on to me. So sad. So sad. But th since Facebook shut his page down, I wonder um, if he'll come out with his own documentary. Like, he's already done stuff. But I wonder if he'll come out with a new documentary called Surviving R. Kelly's Liars. Says Facebook shut his page down. Who knows? Or maybe he'll um, do a movie. Uh, he needs to do something. I mean... A lot of his uh, music been selling lately. You think his daughter transgender? You know, I was looking at his kids, picture his kids, and I ain't gonna talk about the kids. I don't, I don't want to be talking about nobody babies. But um, them kids, like the picture that I've seen them in. It's, it seems like there's just like nothing there. You know what I mean? Like, Andrea, the one thing I do believe 
I think Andrea is not telling the full truth on a lot of things, but one thing I do believe for sure is that her children have went through a lot. And it just seems like all the pictures I've seen of her kids is like there's nothing there. You know, like just blankness. Like this stuff has been going on for 25 years. So just imagine all the harassment and all the jokes, you know, that they've been through, all the teasing from other peers about their father being a child molester and a rapist. That has to be hard. You know, there's one thing to hear your parents is out there on drugs or a drug dealer. But um, to hear they are uh, rapists, I'd rather have my parents. And I'm not trying to speak that into existence. I have the choice. I'd rather for them to be a murderer. Body in a fight. Besides. Yeah, and then the thing about it, he used to be a dropped out of school. So him hanging around the school where he went to, it was nothing for the kids to see him there. You know, to see him at the McDonald's thing. Like, okay, Candace, I don't know if you did it, but a lot of us did when we got out of high school. We still went to some of the same spots. We still hung around the same group. We still hung out at the hangouts. You know what I mean? We still went to the skate room. We still went to, you know, the McDonald's on 30th and Ames. <laughs> Remember, everybody used to hang out. Remember the strip on 30th? I mean, we all went to the same parks. So, for to have one of your peers always still hanging around those same spots, even though they got money. I mean, hey, Terrence Crawford is from Omaha, Nebraska. And Terrence Crawford is real. a millionaire. Into a lot of his around the high school. What you there for the two? you hanging around the school and you're almost 30 years old. You ain't there to tutor no kids. Well, at least not in the way they should have been properly tutored. No. He was, he was schooling them all right. He was schooling them, grooming them, training them. Just so sad. He said their kids, mm-hmm. Their kids will probably need counseling for the rest of their life. And if he do go to jail, if he do go to jail. But one thing they were saying also is they think that uh, he basically learned his lesson as far as making sure he picked people that were absolutely the right age now. But as you saw that 35 year old and that 33 year old say, and a few of the older ones, He's still abusive. Regardless of the age you are, you might be old enough to consent, but he's still abusive, still degrading you. And that one who was 35 who went back to the house, one of the houses that he had got um, foreclosed, um, two of the houses that he, he had, well, actually, he got evicted out of. He wasn't buying them. And that's another thing. If he got so much money, why he keep getting evicted out of properties? Like, you had all this money, why don't you own your own all your properties? But you know, I guess that's neither here nor there if he owned the properties in Atlanta or not. But one of the properties, um, take a 
five year old woman among other girls. She couldn't even go into but she took us to the where stuff went down. Can you get to that to you? But the black room is where the nastiest stuff, the most embarrassing stuff among the women. And where, like, the women happened. Well, of course. Like it did when all so it was like a you could picture she was painting you said go uh, actually I'm sorry some of your comments Friday night football games I mean the basketball games the talent shows I mean when we got grown we still hung around some of the same joints you know, and that's exactly what he did. Except for we weren't out there trying to um, harass no little boys or no little girls. So, somebody with a whip. Somebody with some four. <laughs> mm -mm. I was never interested in nobody younger than me. Even though um, cougar age, I still don't know nobody's little boy. So go stay home with your mama. Find you some other cougar to last time too if you like older women. I had to throw him back in the toy box. <laughs> you said. We 21 and still, like you said, going to dump, yep. Yep. But girl, this gym, it ain't hardly nobody here today. You would think on a Monday it would be more, more packed, especially since it's the beginning of the year. And they giving out memberships like candy. By the way, if you in Omaha, it's only $1 to sign up at Planet right now. And it's only ten dollars a month for the monthly fee. So, if you think about making some lifestyle changes, including exercise, and you don't have a gym membership, it's only one dollar to sign up. And no, I'm not trying to advertise for you. I'm just, I'm just giving you some dollars. <laughs> just giving you some dollars. But. I had my membership before that, so I didn't get to take advantage of no dollar membership, but I sure be telling people about it. Oh, I'm cutting in and out? Okay. You said, but what was crazy looking back at Aaliyah, how they was dressed up like, girl! I think I said that in one of my live videos. Girl, they had on Mickey Mouse outfits. How are you? You a 30-year-old man. You got a Mickey Mouse hat on. Mickey Mouse pants on. And just like they did because it was all rumors all this now if anybody's still out there saying oh he's innocent of a piece of song pornography I mean
you know, like real, I say five real. That's how the five real. <laughs> Let's see what you say. Nobody forced us to do nothing. Angels. Is that we used to get into? I need to. We did what we wanted to. We went where we wanted to. In hell. When you burn me. That's, it's a wrap. I didn't try to beat the brakes off of it. Just walk. Walk away. The people doing the same kind of Really, really look like a... They weren't poor. 
her mom went to college. She went to college. You know, she has something going for her. Um, didn't seem like the kind of person who would, you know. I, um, all of the victims, as we were, were like all poor. lack of parental guidance like all of them weren't like that like the two parents who um the two parents who went to his concert with their daughter for her husband's uh the mom took her husband and their daughter to the concert to see uh hey sis Lo, hey baby how you doing Trump is up here still tripping off his R. Kelly. Did you see that he had created a Facebook page called Surviving R. Kelly's Liars? And I'm just sitting up here talking about some of the, uh, oh, and by the way, the Facebook page got shut down. But I was just talking about the uh, parents, the husband and wife, who had went to this concert with their daughter, and he had pulled her on stage to dance and all that. And Started hooking up with the daughter. Now for her to Like a lot of these young kids. They started to the hotel. For uh, the dad was like, "Is this how you know, routinely, routinely do business?" Is this how you get down? And Kels was like, no, no, no. Your daughter told me it was cool. She told me that you guys were mom and that it was okay. And she also said that you guys would be later. They said, listen, man. even though the mom was like, I'm not too sure about this. You know, at first they were like, you know, my daughter really, really, really wants to, you know, get be a singer. She really wants to get, you know, hooked up with somebody who can help her get there. And R. Kelly, you know, he's impressed with her talent, with her singing skills. And that was just around the time when the charges got dropped, when he was acquitted. So they were like, well, maybe none of this stuff really did happen. But for a parent to actually take that chance after hearing all that, man and then after you decided to let her uh, deal with him you told her only if we are all around either me, your mom, your brothers, your sister somebody you know gotta be present at all times and he knew that as well and still was like oh but your daughter said it was okay they are a child. Why would you have a child come to an audition without their parents? They ain't even old enough to sign contracts. And it's at a hotel. I can see if it was at a public place, a public auditorium, or hell, even McDonald's where he used to hang out trying to clock kids. Girl, I was balling. I was watching that earlier today. Her name was Michelle, I believe. I think the mom's name was Michelle. She had the tomboy girl. And she had the producers take her to uh, Beverly Hills, where she was staying. Her daughter was staying in the hotel. And um, she said, I'm not leaving here without my daughter. See, that would have been me. I'm not leaving here without my daughter. If you stay here, I'm staying. Check that, Kels. If she's staying, I'm staying. I'm going to be in the hotel room right next door till she come home. But she got her baby girl. And did you see how she was like, the baby girl, the girl was like, at first, when she first came to the hotel room, she said somebody else is here because Joyce Lynn was there. And I think it's to the point now where maybe Joyce Lynn is running some of the girls.
Like, I want to kill right here and women or men or whatever you want to call it. And go out there and they Facebook. No pun intended. But they need to get all the nasty people. I mean, they started with, you know, sometimes they ain't starting with the people that we want to get caught. A lot of people is like, oh, but such and such, they've been doing this, and such and such been doing that, and such and such ain't went to jail, and such and such. I mean, it has to start somewhere. Just because somebody else didn't get arrested or in jail, does that mean we should just ignore them? other people's allegations really I mean hmm. I'm just like if anybody believes he is innocent I don't even talk to him I don't even have a conversation I don't even mm -mm. we 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 Anywho, anywho, y'all, I'm gonna get back out to working out with my son, the one who rudely interrupted my live a little while ago, trying to tell y'all I need to get off this live and speed up this bike. I can barely reach the dog on pedals, and I done adjusted it like five, ten times, and it still feel like my leg proportion with the. It's just. So I can feel a peace. Y'all remember that song? Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm just gonna water. Woo. Woo. Okay. All right, y'all. I'm about to get my butt off this live. I've been on here the entire time I've been riding this bike. So, that other bike. My butt was hurting. My butt was hurting. I was like, oh, I gotta get off this horse. <laughs> so I came and got on the bike that was a little, you know. <laughs> better for me but anyway you guys please if you didn't already like this video please make sure you click the like button please make sure you also subscribe to my other channels um this one is called tanya knows no limit the other one is called tanya's primetime tv media reviews and the third one is tanya's delights slice by slice dedicated to my custom cake decorating business. So, I'm gonna get off this bike before I lose all kind of breath trying to talk to y'all and keep up on this bike. And, as usual, in the meantime and in between time, prime time school, stay safe, be blessed, 